What's up? So things have escalated pretty quickly with this old girl, but that's okay. I kind of expected that. So in my last video, I talked about how I was going to try and just replace the start windings. Now remember, this is the only type of wire that you can sometimes do this with. With regular magnet wire, you can never do that. You got to replace all the coils every time. In this case, it didn't matter because the run windings were shot anyways. So I'm going to go at it just like I would any other rewind. So you start off by cutting the crown out, then you grab one group, and you pull that group out one slot at a time so you can get down the same information so you can make the coils exactly the same as the ones you took out. Once you do that, you just go ham and take everything out of there. Then we set up the single phase head so we can make our start windings and our run windings because those two sets of coils are going to be made differently. Once you do that, you get them all stuffed in. So all these leads sticking out are starts and our finishes for each individual group. If I hook them up wrong, I'm going to have a bad day. Once I do that, then I tie it, dip it, bake it, meg it, and she's off to bore some more cylinders. Thanks for watching.